Welcome to our second uh, video on the structure and function of DNA. DNA is often called the blueprint or code of life. In simple terms, DNA contains the instructions for making proteins within every cell in your body. Why do we study DNA? There's many reasons. All life on Earth has DNA. DNA can provide cures for diseases and produce higher yields for crops. Uh, each cell has about two meters of DNA. The average human has 75 trillion cells. The average human has enough DNA to go from the Earth to the Sun 400 times. Structure of chromosomes. Chromosomes organelles found in the nucleus of most cells, which consist of DNA and chromatid, a protein. DNA is coiled tightly around the chromatid during most of the cell's life. During the cell division and protein synthesis, the DNA uncoils and the code can be read. Shape of DNA. DNA is a very long polymer. That means a very long molecule. Basic shape is like a twisted ladder or a zipper or a spiral staircase. This is called a double helix. The double helix has two strands twisted together, two sides of the ladder. This again, if you just took a regular ladder that you leaned up against the building and then somehow could twist it up like a spiral staircase, that would be the shape of DNA. Two sides to the ladder and rungs in the middle. The backbone of the DNA molecule is alternating phosphate and deoxyribose, a sugar, and the teeth or the rungs of the ladder are the bases. So here we have yellow phosphate, a green sugar, deoxyribose, and in the middle or where the rungs would be are the bases. A nucleotide is the basic smallest unit of a DNA molecule. Phosphate, sugar, base. Phosphate, sugar, base. Phosphate molecule, deoxyribose, and one of four bases. One strand of the DNA polymer of nucleot is made up of all one strand of nucleotides, and one strand of DNA has millions and millions of these nucleotides. Four nit uh, nitrogenous bases are cytosine, thymine, adenine, and guanine. Usually, then after this, listed as C, T, A, and G. They stand for cytosine, thymine adenine and guanine. The pyrimidines are single rings and the purines are double rings. We'll see this is important when we're trying to put the molecules together and always a double and a single ring will go together so that the space between the sides of the ladder are uniform. Thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines, single rings, one ring of carbon and nitrogen atoms, Adenine and guanine are pure rings. They're two rings. Two rings together would be too wide, and two one rings together would be too narrow. So what we need is a double ring and a single ring to make up the rungs of the ladder. Therefore, adenine and thymine always join together, A and T. And cytosine and guanine always join together, C and G. A and T, T and A, C and G, G and C. If you write the code for the other half of this strand of DNA, just put it down. You have opposite all the T's would be A's, opposite all the C's would be G's, opposite all the G's would be C. And it would look something like this. The T, T, C, C, T, A, and so on would be A, A, G, G, A, T, and so on. So you can see that the T's and A's always line up, and the A's and T's always line up, the C's and G's always line up and the G's and C's always line up. Remember D DNA has two strands that fit together kind of like a zipper. The teeth down the middle of that zipper are the nitrogenous bases. W what holds them together? Hydrogen bonds. The bases attract each other because of hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are weak but millions and millions of them together can hold a single 
DNA molecule pretty pretty well together. The bonds between cytosine and guanine are shown here, C to G and G to C. When making up hydrogen bonds, cytosine always pairs with guanine, or C with G, and adenine always pairs up with thymine. And here are the, the thymine bonds are shown, and the adenine bonds are shown. Notice in both cases, though, we had a double ring and a single ring. 